Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi, oh everybody, what is going on? It is Gail right here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi video. And today, we're gonna be playing a game that is older than Don Machi Memoria Freeze. Today, we're gonna be playing Don Machi Cross Historia. Now, I'm very excited to be getting into this game. It's been a long time since I've actually played this game. I'm not gonna be using my old account. I don't even know what's happened to the old account. So we're gonna be starting fresh from the get-go. But before we get into talking about Danmachi Cross Historia and all of that jazz, please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel for more Danmachi content, and leave a comment down below if you've ever played Danmachi Cross Historia. How do you guys find the game? Do you guys like it, dislike it? Let me know in the comments. And if you've never played Danmachi Cross Historia, watch the entirety of the video and then let me know what you guys think about the game itself. But yeah, like I said, I don't think a lot of you guys may have heard about Danmachi Cross Historia. It's a very niche game and it's even made more niche by the fact that it's only available in Japan, which is one of the reasons why it's not as popular as Danmachi Mimo. But to give you guys an idea on when this game released, this game is effectively as old as games like Dokkan Battle, Fate Grand Order, and Grand Blue Fantasy. This game came out in December of 2015, about a year and a half before Danmachi Memoria Freeze ever released or even was conceived in the first place. So this game is very, very old. On top of that, like I said, this game is only available in Japan, but also on top of that, it's a browser game. So the gameplay loop is very similar to that of Grand Blue Fantasy. We're going to get into it and I'm going to show you guys exactly how. But effectively, there's a couple of reasons why this game never managed to reach the heights of Dan Mimo. And I don't think it, uh, it'll ever, it will ever reach those heights. Again, like I said, it's mainly because it's only available in Japanese and the fact that it's a browser game. However, however... Unlike Grand Blue Fantasy, where you can switch over languages, this game doesn't allow you to do that. So you have to actually translate the game continuously. Now, if you guys want to see a video on me uh, showing you guys how to download it and do live translations and stuff like that, let me know in the comment section down below. I will be willing to do that. It's just that for this video, I wanted it to be an authentic experience. So I will be making a separate video for that if you guys are interested in that. Now... Like I said, today we're going to be going for a more authentic experience. We're going to go completely blind. I haven't played this game in nearly four to five years, in all honesty. I don't think since 2018 I've touched this game ever. But in all honesty, Danmachi Cross Story holds a special place in my heart purely because of the artworks it provides. If you guys see on the left and right of your screens, right, that's not fan art. That's art from the game itself. They have some of the best artworks Don Machi's ever produced in all honesty genuinely some of the most beautiful artworks we're gonna see that when we start doing some of the gacha stuff but yeah let's go let's get into the game and let's see how it goes all right so yeah like I said this game is very similar to Grand Blue Fantasy if you've ever played Grand Blue Fantasy you'll probably see the similarities there um very browser like very much uh you know it's a very tap 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 go tap 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 go kind of vibe in all honesty so what i did there was i registered my username um and on top of that i agreed to the terms and service now it's saying like you're good to go so we're gonna go in hopefully if uh, it loads of course for us um of course because of the fact that we're kind of connecting to japan the loading times are going to be a little bit slow um that usually happens when you're trying to connect to servers in japan from like the uk or us or somewhere extremely far away right so expect that to happen of course the one thing to note is that the story is very much basically the same as the main story you're basically part of the hestia familia you're kind of your own character in a way um but you're you are part of the hestia familia i'm gonna go with the female character for now um but yeah you're part of the hestia familia you're going through the same experiences that uh you know bell has gone through so like i said this is the gameplay loop this is the gameplay you're fighting against a boss you can see that there is a turn order basically so the red icons is you attacking the blue is the enemy and you're basically trying to attack whenever possible with your character so you're gonna have certain characters on, on your team you'll have assists it's very similar to don Mimo in that regards there are adventures there are assists as well so you kind of have to uh be uh you'll have to know your stuff and it's one of the reasons why I would say that having a live translate app will be extremely useful if you ever plan on playing this game. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see something like that. Alright, we got our equipment uh, here now so we can start equipping some of the gear that uh, Aina gives us, of course. Uh, free real estate, like I say. So there we go. 
all right we've equipped it let's continue on to the next screen but yeah like i said this has been a long time since i've actually played a uh, played this game in all honesty there are some new characters i know there's a couple of new rarities i think if i remember seeing it um i was talking to somebody and they said that there was like a nine star being added to the game and then was, i was like bruh i remember when eight stars were a thing not nine stars that's insane um but yeah so we get some uh characters as well for free just to start us off with we get a tiona Finn and an OC. I don't remember the OC's name. Somebody can probably remind me if they if they still play Danmachi Cross Astoria. You guys can let me know of the name. But yeah, there are some OCs in this game that you can pick up. Characters personally, I don't know too much about, so I have no idea. So this is your party, of course, right? This is your assists and everything. You can see your uh, CP power on the top. Your assists are here, sorry. So yeah, there you go. We can move on now. All right, let's see. So yeah, this is where you do the dungeon dungeon stuff, basically. So you keep attacking bosses, you keep collecting magic stones, your AP goes down, which is your stamina, and uh, at a point, you will face a boss uh, on the floor, right? You'll, fi you'll find a floor boss, basically. So you'll have to defeat that floor boss. Um, you can see now we have uh, all six of our units, and now we can uh, attack with uh, other characters like Wolf and Lily and stuff like that. So you can see we can attack a lot here because, of course, uh, thankfully, the boss isn't attacking for a while. So now we can see that there's combo damage up. Again, very similar game. If you've ever played Grand Blue Fantasy, it's a very similar game in that you will have the ability to get uh, special arts off. You'll be able to get uh, your normal attacks off. And it's very tap-tap-go. There's no real sort of, like, element of, like, oh, there's different you know skills or you have to do something random all of a sudden or you have to plan out it's very tap tap go so you can kind of get away with that all right let's carry on from here now i want to get to the i want to get to the gotcha scenes you know i want to get to the gotcha i want to get to the gotcha you know what i mean um okay so that's our level update beautiful status update beautiful get those three points baby get those three points absolutely fantastic all right let's carry on now okay okay but yeah like i said i kind of like the game uh in all honesty um in terms of obviously the uh aesthetics and the artwork and stuff like that of course as somebody who's played a lot of grand blue fantasy um for me this game is okay at best in all honesty purely because of the fact that well um ooh, is this valentine's yeah valentine's yeah look the nine star unit bro i didn't even know nine stars were a thing in this game and they're just like yeah here's a nine star buddy have fun oh man all right all right so here we go so okay so we have the gotcha uh, gotcha stuff here you can see that there is a lottery sort of thing so there's a grand prize first place second place third place fourth place so i assume it rolls the lottery can i maybe do a multi right now i can oh I guess we should kickstart us off with a multi. Let's see what happens here. We'll probably do two multis and then we'll probably make a party and then we can see what happens if we go into like maybe the normal fights and stuff like that. Let's see. All right, so it's loading in. Let's see what happens here. Come on. All right, so this is, I assume, the lottery thing because I've never, I don't remember seeing this beforehand. Let's see. Oh, is it going to be something good? Ice comes in. That, 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 the animation. Come on, it has to be. Is this the grand prize? Please be the grand prize or first place. All right, first place. We got the eight star eyes. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Nah, but the artwork, man. Look at the artwork. It's so good. Now we do the multi as well. So let's see. Please be something good. Oh, oh, another animation. You love to see it. You love to see it. This is this is what we love to see. You know, around these streets, this is what we love to see. I don't know what the animations mean. I will admit, but I assume this means we've gotten an eight star. Okay, so these are the basic units we've gotten. Four stars and five stars. Now I guess it'll start showing us the six, seven, and eight stars, respectively. So we got a six star Reveria. We take those. Nothing too crazy. Six star Seer. We take those again. Seven star Lily. We take those for sure. Seven star Bell. Unbelievable. I got a dupe. <laughs> did, I, did I just get a dupe? <laughs> I literally just got a dupe. First multi, I got a dupe already. Beautiful. You love to see it. You really do love to see it. Absolutely fantastic. But there we go. Good multi, I suppose. We can probably stop there and we can see what else is available maybe. But these are the units you get. You can see right here that this was the main unit we've gotten. Eyes, of course. And then in the bottom, you can see we got Bell, Lily, Seer. Seer, who's an assist, by the way. You can see by the top left icon that it's an assist whenever there is an a next to their name beautiful so let's go to the menu can i will this pull up the menu okay now i assume this is our party 
I assume this is our party again. This is where a live translate button would come to help us a lot, but it's okay. Um, okay, I I think I can I know the la uh, language a little bit uh, to kind of understand what is what. Of course, so this is your element screen. You can filter out units and stuff like that. You can auto set teams, but I assume this is like our monster philia setup or something like that. I think if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong with the language. Somebody can correct me in the comments. But all right, let's see. I think if I do this and I set it to auto, this will automatically build me my team. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So you can see here that uh, the bells are in the back line. We have the main character in the left slot. We have eyes here and then we have the bell here. Beautiful. And our power jumped up like 140,000. Insane. Insane. Um, if I go over here, this will probably be the assist slots, right? And yeah, because we only had uh, on. Well, no, no, it's going to lower my power because it's going to auto set it. So the moment you just auto set it like this, right? You just click on this. It'll automatically set your entire team, which is nice. So that's good. At least you, you can pretty much tell what is what this is going to be set according to power, uh, attack, HP, defense, certain elements. If you're building a certain element team, right? Because most likely if it's anything like Grand Blue Fantasy, right? I've never gone into the depths of this gameplay, to be quite honest. But if it's anything like uh, Grand Blue Fantasy, you probably want to run a sort of like more mono element team right for certain boss fights and stages so that's something to bear in mind um i assume that's uh let's see let's see what everything is um this looks like it's war games yeah it looks like it's war games so i'm gonna ignore that we are not part of any sort of familiar guild let's go into here now this i assume is the normal stages um i want to check uh what if i do this I, I may have clicked another thing so these are the bosses you fight against so let me go back to the top so yeah, one thing to note is there's a lot of like navigation things you can do. Like if you want to go back to the screen we just came from, you can click back, you can click front, you can reload the page to make sure that there's no sort of error or something. Because remember, this is a browser game. It's a browser game. So it's very, very much so exactly, if not the same as Grand Blue Fantasy in that regards. So let's go into the fight and then maybe we can see if we can go into the gacha and do some more multis potentially. So we're going to continue on with the story, of course, here. So I'm going to just skip through it and uh, we're going to see what happens here. So we take a hit there. Okay, beautiful. Now I want to check one thing. Uh, let me see. If I click that, uh, can I see what party we're taking maybe? Yeah, okay. So this is the party we're taking. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure what party we were taking, but I wanted to just double check. Because you never know. You never know with the way the uh, game works in terms of like how it's set up and stuff. So, yeah. <coughs> Alright. Sorry about that. Let's go back. Let's go all the way back to uh, the stages. Alright. Now, I want to check this out again. Let's try. Let's go back in again. Because, uh, let me see. One second. Let me put it on Do Not Disturb. All right, so we keep going. Let's keep going. I'm very curious to see what exactly happens here. So now we're going up against the rabbit here. Uh, you can see that you have to keep clicking again and again to see what happens here. So we're, we're defeating these bosses. I want to go back now to the main screen. Let me click on this. I'm very curious to see what will happen here. So that's one uh, enemy down. Okay. All right. All right, good, good. I'm very, uh, this is very interesting to me that they keep telling you. Okay, so there's a boss fight. So you have to keep going back in until you get to a boss fight. And then uh, you can, okay, choose your team here. All right, so you can choose your team. I assume you can go for BP0, which is like a base level. BP20 means you'll get two times rewards and BP50 means you'll get four times rewards. So since we have the BP, we may as well take all the rewards we can get here. But yeah, I'm not the... Now that I'm remembering a little bit more about the gameplay, I feel like... I mean, this isn't definitely for me for sure, right? As somebody who's played uh, uh, Don Mimo more and has played Grand Blue Fantasy, very similar games. I think for me, I would probably prefer... Uh, the more Danmimo style games and stuff like that. Um, this would probably bore me quite a lot very quickly. But I think if I was just playing it as a collector, right? If I was just playing it for the collector's purpose, right? Just for somebody to... Uh, just for me to collect the uh, items and stuff like that, right? 
I think I would not mind this. I really wouldn't mind this as a collector because the artwork in this game is so beautiful. So you know what I'm going to do after this boss fight? We're going to go into the gacha once again. And I am going to basically put my life savings into the gacha system. <laughs> By my life savings, I mean I'm just going to literally just chuck whatever currency I have left over into the gacha and see if we can get lucky from it. So the gacha system should be this button, I assume. Uh, no. No. That does not seem like that was the gacha button. <laughs> that, that does not seem like it was the gacha button, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this is our ID, basically. Okay, this is our ID. Um, what is the gacha system? Where is the gacha? Is it this, maybe? No, doesn't seem like that was the gacha system. Um, the doors. The doors has to be the gacha system. Surely. Surely the gacha system. Or is this the guild? Probably the guild. Where is the gacha system? I, I I just wanna summon. I just want to summon. That's all I wanna do. I wanna I wa I wanna gamble. I wanna gamble. Um where can it be? Where can it be? I'm very curious. Where where will it be? The other doors. Is it the other doors? There we go. Got there in the end. We finally got there in the end. <laughs> Alright, let's see what banners are up right now. So um we obviously have this, okay, seven stars and stuff like that. Okay, what is this? Let me see. Let's see what op op what options we have to summon on, if it would allow me to click on some other stuff, maybe. All right, let's let's go over here, maybe see what happens here. So, is this something I already have? I think it's something that you automatically get basically, and it's a free multi basically. I assume this is a free multi that we got. Um, is it gonna go rainbow? It is gonna go rainbow. Seven star Lily, let's go. We take those. Seven star Aisha, okay. Okay, okay. I mean, is this just like a, se oh, a complete seven star multi, no nothing else? Hey, dub. I mean, it's a dub. Wow. Okay, I like that eyes artwork. I'm not gonna lie. I really like that eyes artwork. Oh, Ryu, Valentine's Ryu, we take those. Uh, Valentine's Tione, we'll take those. Eyes again. Lo Loki, we pretty much got everything. Oh, and a free weapon. Dub. <laughs> Dub. I'm very curious about the weapon system in this because, of course, if you guys know how um, Grand Blue Fantasy works, right, is that you summon for the weapons, actually, but the weapons give you the units as well, right? If it's Gala, if it's a Gala unit, you get the Gala weapon, but, of course, you'll get the character along with it, of course, right? So that's something that I'm very curious about as to how it works in this game, in all honesty. I'm very, very curious about that. Um... Okay, so it seems like weapons can be get, uh, gotten here. I assume this is like a friend system. All right, so let's see what we can do here now. So we have 75 of these. Let's see what we can do here. Um, can I do like a multi? Yeah, that's a multi, I assume. So, okay, when you do a multi, a five star is guaranteed, it seems like. Which, I mean, doesn't seem like much in all honesty. Oh, no. Clo oh, Chloe comes out of nowhere. Dub, 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 dub. It went from being bad to worse. Okay, no, no, it's, it's just ended up being worse. That's it. Wow, we got absolutely shafted on this multi. No! Oh, that was actually bad. That's actually horrible. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Let's do a single again. Oh, nothing on the sing sing uh, single. It's just a four star. Jeez, I think my luck went away when I got that, you know, when I got that first uh, five star uh, or when I got that first multi luck where I got the uh, lottery and stuff like that. I think my luck kind of went away after that. I think my luck kind of went away after that. But, oh well, it is what it is, I suppose. Let's go back now. And uh, let me just do a couple of singles. Let's do a couple of singles and then wrap this video up. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about uh, Don Machi Cross Story. Do you guys like it? Dislike it? What do you guys think about it? Is it something you might consider playing? Um, or are you just going to wait for Don Machi Battle Chronicle? Maybe, maybe you might be only interested in playing two gacha games only at most. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. A little bit different, a little bit uh, fun, uh, funky considering it's something I've never done on the channel. You know, Don Machi Cross Story is completely new on the channel. And uh, let me know. Uh, what you guys think about potentially doing some more content for it in the future maybe maybe you guys want to see how to download it and the live translation stuff let me know if you guys would be interested in that but yeah let me know uh if you guys enjoyed this type of video as well leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye everybody